How you doing, Ira? Got a delay a game. We didn't get set up fast enough, and it's something that can't happen. How frustrating is it to have something like that happen at home and in such a crucial moment? It wasn't just that moment. There were a few things that happened that we can't let happen. We got six crucial penalties at different times that cost us the ball game, shooting ourselves in the foot to give us a chance to win. We know they're a good football team. Hats off to them, but we made some dumb mistakes ourselves. Is that the look you wanted on the two-point play, and they just made a good defensive play, or were you looking for something else? It was tough when you move it back to the seven, eight yard line. They dropped that many people trying to get it in the window. You know, took a shot at it. The defense bounced back in the second half. How impressed were you with them uh, out, coming out of the, the halftime? Got to play four quarters. You know, it's the third game in a row. We started off slow. Uh, the first half, giving up 14 points just from missed assignments and doing something we ain't supposed to be doing. In the second half, they played a lot better, gave us a chance to win. You were missing your three top receivers, a left tackle. But for the third game, you only scored one offensive touchdown. How concerned are you about the offense? It's concerning. You know, it's concerning. We didn't have to have those guys to win this ball game. We just needed to play smarter. So we weren't waiting for anybody to come off the field and say if we would have had this, if we, we had a chance to win this game. They played a good ball game. They took care of the football for the most part. Uh, we shot ourselves in the foot, and there's some things we can't do. Talent had nothing to do with the way we shot ourselves in the foot. The fumbles by Perriman and Gage, you guys were, were kind of moving the ball in plus territory. How much did that hurt just the rhythm of, of getting this offense out of its, its funk early? Anytime you turn the ball over, it hurts. You know, it hurts us, it hurts them. But when we turn the ball over at crucial times and we can't get points in a tough ball game, you know, that's going to be a deciding factor. There was a report that Julio Jones has a partially torn I just know he could have played. We held him out. We want to make sure he's healthy. He'll probably be back out there next week. As far as play calling, first down runs, there, there seems like there have been a lot to, you know, very middle degree of success. Uh, is, there, is that concerning to you? It's not concerning yet. You know, we do some things we have to do. We open the, play, open the game up with a pass, so we'll even it out as the season goes on. We just got to be cognizant of it. That fourth quarter there, you had the pass to Darden to get in the midfield, and then you tried kind of what looked like a double reverse that, that set you back 12 yards. Let's talk about that play call. I, I know you're just trying to get a spark there, but how much it set you back? Well, it set us back, but turnover set us back more. You're trying to make a play when some things aren't going right the whole ball game, so we're trying to win a game any way we can. Did you guys come out of the game relatively healthy? So far, I mean, nobody came off the field. We'll see what the injury report says. Did Cole give you about what you could expect after three or four days? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, he's a chain mover, limited exposure to the system, so he did the things he knew how to do. Did you feel like Tom's finger impacted him at all today? No. You feel he had a pretty good defensive handle on, on Rodgers for most of the day? Uh, he looked like he was uh, he played, throwing a lot of short balls. We played better in the second half. We knew the short balls were coming out. I don't, I don't know if you ever stop him. You try to slow him down as best you can. He's one of the greatest quarterbacks in our game. Uh, a lot of respect for him, but we could have played some things better. Todd, you mentioned Julio could be back for the Chiefs game. What about Godwin and, and Donovan Smith? I will see this week. Todd, have you started preparing for the potential of a, a possible storm coming through and, and what the next week might look like? We've talked about it. We have a lot of ideas. We'll, we'll get more in detail tomorrow. What can you say about Logan Ryan to be part of, of two takeaways on defense today? Well, he's part of one. You know, that's important for him. He plays smart. He's a tough ball player. We need a couple more. Logan, Logan Hall uh, had a sack, some really good pressures. What did you see out of him in this game? Just what we did when we drafted him. You know, he can rush the passer. He got some pressures, and he's getting back there. The more playing time he gets and the more exposure, the more comfortable he feels. What are your thoughts on how Gage played, just in general? Well, he had a lot of catches. You know, anytime you fumble a football, that takes away everything you did good. But he's a fighter. He's a fighter. He's feisty. He comes to play. We just got to clean up the turnovers. How important to get the running game going again, Todd? It's important that we click on all cylinders. It's important to get the running game going if that's what they're giving us. If they're not giving us that, it's important to get the pass game going. Considering, uh, three games who, was missing, missing. considering who was out and, and the mistakes that you made, you still be there at the end. Do you take positives out of that? You can. You really don't take any positives out of a loss but a loss, but you grow from it. We can be tough and we can fight, but that's not going to win us the ball game. we got to be cleaner. If not for the delay of game penalty, did you get the look you wanted? It was obviously going to be a handoff to Lenny. 
Had the look we wanted. It was a two-way play. Obviously, it didn't work out. Todd, three games in, your defense has played tremendously well. The offense a little far behind, but obviously you got a lot of guys out. How do you look at this team moving forward? you feel like it's going to get better offensively? Where, where, where are you at right now? It's a team game. We expect to get better offensively. We expect to get better defensively and special teams. You know, we win as a team, we lose as a team. There is no one unit that's going to be down the other unit and say, look at, look at what we did, look at what you did. If we lost, everybody lost, and we didn't do enough. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. Tom should be in here momentarily. Hi guys. Who wants to start? Tommy, can you take, take us through the two point play there? What happened uh, and, and got to the late game? Did you check to a, to a run there? What happened? Uh, yeah, I just looked up and we had a uh, just a bad execution. It's really what it is. Nothing more. Did you try to check to a run at that point? Um, yeah, it's just yeah, there's a lot to it. So bad execution on offense at a time where we needed good execution and we didn't get it. And there was a lot of other times we had a lot of other bad execution. And I think the reality is when you do that, you don't have the opportunity to score points. So it was uh, too many plays where we were behind the sticks and not good on third down and penalties, turnovers, missed opportunities. And, you know, defense played great. We've got to play better on offense. We've got to do a lot better job. We haven't scored many points all season. So three games, we've got to get a lot better. Bull said that, yes, it is concerning the fact that you guys haven't been able to, to find the end zone. I know you've been without a lot of weapons. How concerning is it for you? Uh, you know, our job is to go out there and score points, so we haven't, we're just not doing it. But you're not going to score points if we don't execute well. So um, they did a better job than us. Yeah, they have good, you know, good defense, good physical defense. I give them a lot of credit. They forced us to make a lot of good plays, and um, we just didn't do a great job in execution. Um, we'll just get a Russell Gage in that final drive. Kyle took the same chemistry you guys had during training camp. Yeah, he did a great job. He really battled through it. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of guys down, but those guys who were in there and some hot weather did a great job, especially, you know, last drive. Um, so there's a lot of good a lot of good plays guys were making. I know you don't want to make any excuses, but did, did the finger impact you at all today? No, zero. Yeah, zero. How concerned are you? I mean, three games, three offensive touchdowns. That's just not anything you've been a part of here. Um, yeah, we just gotta do a better job. Yeah, I, I, I wish it was one thing. We're just, you know, we haven't had a lot of, uh, you know, we're not running as good as we're capable. You know, in the past game it hasn't been very good. So our screen game, um, Tom, from what you see a lot in of practice, things. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. From yep. what you see in practice, you think this can get turned around? Do you see? I mean, is it there? Uh, yeah, we'll I mean, we'll keep working at it for sure. Yeah. Keep working at it. Coach Bowles mentioned that Julio could come back and rejoin you guys against the Chiefs. You could get Godwin. How, how much of a bark would it be just to get some of the, the regulars back, if you will? I think you'd always, you know, rather play with your, with with the guys that are, you know, your your top players on your team. And but they're not, you know, a lot. Of, they're not playing with a lot of their top guys either. So the guys went in there. They fought hard. We just, just too many too many mistakes. Even if you know, I don't know. It's, it looked to me we had a chance to make a lot of plays and we didn't. Doesn't matter really. You know, the guys that were in there, some of the guys did a great job with their opportunities, and we just got to keep doing it. So we're 2-1. and one. There's a lot of football left. Um, we'll keep working at it. And it um, doesn't get easier next week going up against Chiefs. But, you know, no one feels sorry for us, nor should we. We just got to go back to work. Oh, well, three games it's it's all security stuff, right? Like, you guys had opportunities, and the guys, you know, missed those opportunities, like the reverse and the fumbles. Just how frustrating is it when, when that? Yeah, too loose of the ball. To loose at the ball, and you know, again, it's just it's that's important for all of us. We talk about ball security. You know, we got to keep doing a good job in the pass game. Ball security it means protection. That means me making good reads and good throws. Them securing the ball when they catch it. You know, when the guys who touch it. You know, we all got to do a great job of it. And you're right. You know, we haven't done a great job of it. We got our defense done a great job getting the ball for us and field position and 
and you hold the team to 14 points, you know, that's that's a great defensive effort, especially against you know a great team like that. So, you know, just got to go back to work. One of those guys that was a new addition to the team this week, Cole Beasley, had three catches today. What did you see out of Cole Beasley today? Yeah, he did a good job for us, you know, on a short week. So we just have to keep keep improving, you know. Talk to game time, what did you see? Eighteen yard run. They got wiped out. It's kind of a picture of what happened today. Yep. Great play. They got yep. you know pulled back. But what did it feel like? What did you see on that run? I saw a lot of open green grass and no Packers, and I could turn a 40-yard gain into 18 better than anyone in the NFL. So unfortunately, I slid. I broke my knee brace, and you know I had to get it on the sideline. But if I'm running it, it's usually not a good thing. So I'll give it to the guys who can run with it. Tom Frenge is in. What have you seen from Robert Hainsey and Luke Gettick in front of you? They're doing good. They're battling. There's a lot of new things to see. They're going up against a lot of good players. Um, it's not going to get easier this week, so they got a, Chiefs got a good front. Okay. Thank, Thank you, guys.